I'm North Hempstead Town Supervisor Judy Bosworth, and I, along with our town board, are proud to present At Home with North Hempstead, a series of special programs for children, seniors, as well as entertainment for residents of all ages. We hope you enjoy this special presentation and check back often for new content. Hello, welcome to the Cooking Lab. This is Chef Matt. Uh, let's uh, cook together today a uh, chocolate cake. It's going to be a French country style chocolate cake. We call it a gâteau au chocolat d'Anne-Marie. Uh, it's very good, very easy to execute, and all the kids love it. I grew up with this chocolate cake. Let's do it today. You will need so the, uh, the equipment, you need about one bowl for, to uh, melt the eggs. You will need another bowl just to assemble everything together, a bit of sugar, the eggs, uh, the chocolate. You will need a hand mixer, is, uh, is easier. If you don't have one, uh, you have to do it by hand. Uh, you will need a cake pan, any size is good, circle, uh, it would fill about one inch high. Uh, then you will need uh, a spatula, rubber spatula, and a whisk. And now for the ingredients, you will need about 125 grams of chocolate, that's about four and a half ounce. Uh, you will need uh, 125 grams of sugar, so that's about uh, half a cup and two tablespoons of sugar. You will need uh, 125 grams of butter, so that will be about a stick and uh, one tablespoon. Uh, you will need two eggs that we will separate, two yolks and two whites. You will need about a third cup of flour. Uh, you will need about three tablespoons of milk. Uh, you will need a pinch of salt and a tablespoon, uh, no, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of vanilla. So uh, let's go, let's go for it. So the first thing we're going to do, we are just simply going to melt uh, the chocolate in the milk. So over uh, medium heat, uh, we are going to warm up the milk and melt nicely the chocolate. So over medium heat and very gently, the chocolate is gonna melt before we know it. So you will have, have uh, your butter that you will cut in little pieces. And what we're going to do is as soon as the chocolate is melted, we will add uh, one piece at a time and melt it like, just like a, a chocolate sauce. So it's important, you do not want the chocolate to uh, burn at the bottom, so the milk help prevents this. As you can see, it melts pretty fast. Uh, it's already start smelling good. The temptation of leaking this whisk is going to be big. You have to be patient. All right, so my butter is, uh, my uh, chocolate is perfectly melted. Now I'm adding the chocolate one piece, uh, the butter in the chocolate one piece at a time. At first, I put a little more. Now, if I just let it melt like this, it's just going to be melted butter. Uh, what I want to do is incorporate the fat of the butter in my chocolate. So I try to always whisk in order to create the emulsion so it stays combined together very nicely. As soon as it's melted, up, I add a little bit more butter and I keep on whisking, just like a sauce. The butter is melted. Up, oh, I add another piece. Ah, as soon as it's melted, you keep on adding. Little pieces at a time. Mm. 
Very nice. Really starts smelling good. This is a good sign. Uh, now at that point, the uh, chocolate starts to really be uh, much thinner. So again, we don't want the fat to separate. So we keep, keep on stirring, we melt it. We don't want it to be too hot. So at that point, we are simply going to turn off the heat, if I can. And let's let the chocolate cool down just a tiny bit because we do not want the chocolate to be too hot when we are going to mix it with the eggs. So let's let it cool. Now we are going to whisk our yolk and the sugar. Now it is very important to remember that as soon as the yolks are in touch with the sugar, the sugar is going to start cooking the eggs. So you don't want that. So as soon as they are get, uh, you mix yolk and sugar, you start mixing right away. So what we want to do, we want to obtain uh, a very creamy, uh, uh, like a cream. So at first, you see it's going to uh, create this kind of crumble, uh, egg crumble, if I may say. But then very quickly, we will see that it's going to start turning into a cream. So always when you use the hand mixer, you start, uh, you start slow and you keep on increasing little by little, but you always leave the, the whisk in the bowl. Don't lift it because otherwise it's going to start jumping all over the kitchen. Now you see the, the sugar starts dissolving. Now I start obtaining, it's more like a, a paste. You keep on doing this for about, and then you can increase. Then you do this for about a good two minutes. And the reason you do that is you want this mixture to double, maybe triple volume. And you see now we start really having a, a nice, okay, I'll show you, it start being more like a, an ice cream. So we keep on going. We're gonna do this for about a minute or two, more. And this time we'll allow this chocolate to uh, cool down a little bit. So this is great. Now when you will be done uh, whisking the, uh, the yolk and the sugar, you will give it a quick rinse to your, uh, a quick rinse to your whip, so you can uh, use it again to beat the, the white eggs. Always make sure you give it your chocolate a turn just to make sure it stays smooth and that helps cool down. Okay, you see it, it start, uh, it really, the sugar starts really being dissolved. We have, I want to say, you see, I want it to go down by itself smoothly. Let's say I'm going to add it another 30 seconds. Now again, you can do it by hand. It's just going to take you a, a little longer, but it'll take you a three, three, four more minutes longer. This is not 
This is just an easy way. Okay, so I like where I am. I like where I am. The trucker will help. So like I just told you, let's give a quick rinse to uh, this whisk. But before, we're going to add this chocolate. So now I'm going to use a rubber spatula because I don't. I want. I want to make sure all the good stuff get in my bowl. So let's grab it. Now remember that chocolate is warm, so I want to make sure I mix it right away, nicely. Okay. Nicely. So very gently, doing the center. Now the chocolate I'm using is 60% content. So you don't want to go lower, 60% uh, between anything, 50, 55, between 55 and 75. Is red 60, 65 is a great mark. All right. And now, to this, I'm just going, see, it's very liquid. It stays together. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. That will give a nice flavor. And then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of flour, because otherwise this cake is not gonna stay together. So I'm putting my third cup and very gently at first, because otherwise if you go too fast, <laughs> your flour is gonna fly all over. So mix it nicely like this. All right. All right. Now let's mount our eggs. All right, so now let's mount the egg. So oh, as, as usual, you start on low heat. Do not, again, leave the whisk, stay in. And when you can higher it a little bit. And as soon as you have your egg that starts getting foamy, we're going to add a pinch of salt and keep on going. So you really want to break this egg white. I'm going to go a little higher. You see how it starts foaming at that point. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. A pinch, three finger, up, and that, and, and that gives you about this. All right, let's do it. Now, what you are doing when you are doing this, you are incorporate, incorporating air in your egg white. That will give your uh, cake a fluffier texture. So you don't want to go to, you have different stage of um, how much you mount your white. You have soft peak, then you have stiff peak. Uh, you, want, you want to be stiff in this case, but you don't want to overbeat your egg because when you reach that point, then you do the opposite. You start, instead of incorporating in air, you start taking the air out. So you see, it starts being for me, but it's still very liquid at the bottom. It's a little bit like a whipped cream. You want, when you lift your whisk, you want the, the thick to, to, to stay solid. So it takes about, Four, four minutes, four or five minutes. I'm on very high speed. Just make sure.
sure you always turn your bowl so so you make sure you grab everything now at some point it starts forming some waves well this is a good I want to show you this is this is good but it's still very very soft you want it to be very uh, opaque white now the wave again they start being thicker they stay so I'm I'm starting thinking you know what I reach a good stage let's see what's happening you see those Nice stiff peak, how they stay straight. All right, so we're good. Let's take this out. I'm grabbing my spatula and now I'm not going to mix it like, uh, like crazy. I'm just simply going to pour my egg white in. Okay, I should say slide it in. And now I'm, I'm doing what you call folding. So you basically grab the chocolate from the bottom and fold over it and you turn your bowl and you repeat this operation very nicely. And you fold again and you fold again. And you're gonna do this about nine, maybe 10 times. And that's about it. And when you, when you reach, when you did your full folding and you see that everything is about mixed, then you can gently, gently give it a, a little stir. Gentle, you see? I did what, seven, eight, nine? Okay, I must be there, 10. You see, it's a lot mix. I'm going to clean the side of the bowl, make sure that I have everything mixed. I'm going to give it a gentle stir, you know, but like pressing, just to make sure that, you see, I have a cloud of white. Just want to make sure I don't have that. This, voila. Everything is folded. And now I'm simply going to get my uh, cake mold ready. So the way I'm doing it, I will put some grease. I will put some flour. I'm going to show you. And I cut a little piece of parchment paper that I will put then at the bottom because that will help uh, unmold the cake when I'm done. Let's do that. All right, so you preheat your oven at 350 Fahrenheit. Now, let's get our cake mold ready. So what happened is, if I just pour the chocolate batter in my uh, mold, I'm going to have a very tough time to uh, take it out. Uh, unless I can grab a spoon and eat it straight from the pan, but we are not going to do that. We are going to share with our family, our friends. So this is what we are going to do. You are going to have a little bit of oil in the bottom of your pan. I'm using a little piece of paper towel and I'm going gently making sure I coat the bottom nicely, but you want to coat also the sides, okay? Make sure you exaggerate in the corners, okay? You do it everywhere nicely. Uh, I'm also going to add this little piece of parchment paper. If you don't have one, that should be enough. Just make sure when you do that, you push it against. You see, you start seeing the oil across. I'm going to butter also to grease. So you can grease with other, I, I'm using canola oil. Uh, you, uh, canola oil, you can use butter, it's the same thing. All right. And now what you're going to do, you're going to have just a tiny bit of flour, that bench flour that you pour in it like this. And you are going to go all over and making sure it's nice and white all over. Now the sides, same thing. I'm going to put myself over my bench so I don't put flour everywhere. And I'm just turning the wheel. Turning the wheel. And I just make sure I have 
uh, flour all over, okay? Now, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna tap it a little bit, making sure this is at the bottom. Tap it and take off the excess of flour. So you, you tap a little bit the side, tap a little bit the side. All right. Okay, now I have my cake. It's properly, uh, it's properly covered. So now I'm simply going to transfer my batter to the pan. My friend, this smells very good. I am very tempted, very, very tempted right now from trying this better. Very tempted. I do it. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'm back, I'm back in childhood. Now I make sure it's nice and straight. As you can see, it will not be very thick. It's about, it will be about like this. It's going to cook relatively fast. I'm gonna put, let's start with 25 minutes and see what happens. In 25 minutes, I'm going to insert a, a blade like this, a little knife blade, and I'm going to put it across a 45 degree angle like this. I'm gonna do this, just like this, Boop, and I take it out. I, there will be some chocolate on it, but I want to see my blade. I want to see droplets of water. If I see droplets of water and, my, and I see my blade, my cake is ready. If I take it out and it's still very uh, battery, chocolate there, it's not cooked, leave it for uh, another five minutes, okay? Let's do that. And very careful with the oven, it's hot. Our chocolate cake is cooked. So you let it cool down for about half an hour, you know, until you can touch it. And then with a little rubber spatula, you are going to go gently against your cake until it separate. I type it a little bit in the back. This is good. I'm going to cover it with a plate. One, two, three, hop. We hope for the best. All right, now very gently, very gently, you take this pepper out. Now we're gonna make this cake look good. A little bit of confectioner sugar usually does the trick. And now my friend, it's time to try it. I'm going to have a nice, Little piece like this. We have a plate. Look at this nice chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Nice, fluffy, strong. Very nice. Very nice. Friends, let's cook together very soon again.